Hello fellow engineers, welcome back to Polybridge and what a crazy day today is. We hit 200,000 subscribers. <laughs> oh my god, like 200,000. That's like the population of Salt Lake City. The number of years it took for the human population to reach 1 billion. <laughs> the number of people per year that take a guided tour of the Sydney Opera House. The number of pancakes served at community breakfasts each year. And of course, how many Pacific walrus there are in the wild. So yeah, absolutely mad. Like, I started this channel on the 4th of June 2020. So we're not even a year in yet, and we've already got 200,000 people. <gasps> Thank you so much if you have subscribed. That's unbelievable. And to celebrate, I've decided to release some new merch. We've got a 2021 merch update featuring the Boosh t-shirt, the new Peace, Love and Bridges t-shirt, and this rather cool one. Do you remember a while ago I did that community post where I asked you to describe my channel in one word? And I got a lot of responses. I got like, I got over 800 responses. Uh, and I've pretty much, not all of them, not all of them, I will give you that. I pretty much added most of them to this t-shirt. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that, head on over to my Teespring store. And as usual, Patreons and YouTube members get 10% off. But anyway, what are we doing today? Do you remember a while ago I created a bicycle? Well, let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's refresh our memories. Ah, oh, there she is. There she is. What a beaut. Well, yeah, not the best, but it does move. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. <laughs> best seat ever. But yeah, this is pretty terrible. And uh, I thought today we'd try and fix it. We'd make it better. Maybe we'd make a motorbike rather than a bicycle. For now, I just wanted, while, while we are here, before we bin this off completely, I was thinking bicycles, they're not meant to be powered. They're not meant to have an engine. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. None of this new fangled electric bikes. Have you seen those flying about? So anyway, yeah, I've deleted the vehicles from the inside because I think they weren't helping, to be honest. And aside from that, I was going to say now it would be really easy to move, but oh God, I forgot what. Okay, so they just connect to the middle. All right, yeah. So what I thought we'd do, we'd move it like way up and like over here. Then we'll go, we'll go into this menu and then we'll grab this entire bike and we'll say cut and then we'll try and move it. Okay, so we can we can put it exactly where it was before, but I wanna try and rotate. So if I use E, I can rotate it a bit. And yeah, it's not gonna fit perfectly anymore because we're snapped to a grid, but I can, I can press this button up here, snap to grid on, turn it off. And then I can just get it in the right place with my mouse. Eh, there you go. Right, click. So now we have our bicycle, which isn't powered and it's, it's, it's pointing downwards. So what I thought we'd do, we'd go back to sandbox mode we would create an object, which is a custom shape. And no, it's not going to be a pentagon. I'm going to make a jump. All right, so that looks pretty, a pretty good angle. I sort of want it to curve a bit. Oh no, I need to copy those as well. I forgot about those. There are wheels. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll do them in a bit. Let's build this ramp first. So I feel like if I add a load of points, we can make like a smooth curve. Oh God, that's going to get some zero speed. All right, that might be okay. We'll, uh, we'll just neaten it up a bit so it looks a bit more professional. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move the level just so that the red line lines up there. So that will allow our jump to be longer. I might, I might be getting a bit too confident with this one. It's probably not going to make it that far, is it? But uh, right, let's see how far that goes. I've got to put these back up. So these are the like inner parts of the wheels. All right, so I have to rotate them just to line them up. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll do the same for this one. Just rotate that a bit. Nice. I imagine we're going to have to draw our spokes again. That's fine. That is fine. Back to the build mode. So before we go anywhere, we'll grab this ramp and we'll just edit tools and we'll add some static pins. So that means it can't move. If we shove one down there and one over here, then that can't rotate. That's perfectly stuck where it is. All right. It looks pretty cool from here. <laughs> this could be decent. Uh, I do need to do all the wheels again though, which is a bit annoying. Before we do the spokes, we'll do the frame. So we'll go from there to there. And then I think this one did the same, but it had the middle one as well. Yeah, I think I think that's the frame done. So now we'll do the spokes. And I think I did like every other. And then maybe those ones. Oh, I can't remember. I cannot remember. We'll just we'll just fill it in. However we think. All right, I think that might be done. Uh, we need to do this middle cog. So I think all we did here was we just did that sort of thing. So it held everything in the middle. So hopefully that's done. Then I need to do this one as well. So we'll delete all this. Right, I think we might be done. Don't and don't worry, I'm gonna for my version 2.0, I'm gonna fix all these. Like, cause those those wheels, they're terrible. I'm pretty sure the only thing I'll be keeping on this design is the seat. Alright, so let's see what does gravity make of this. Ready? <gasps> oh, she's rolling. 
She's going. She's picking up speed. <laughs> oh, no, the front wheel. Oh, no. Is it going to make a jump? Kind of. Oh, no, the chain came off. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oof. Hey, now it looks like a knob. Did you see that? That will look like a knob for a second. <laughs> uh, one thing I might do just to sort of fix it, just to make it a bit more stable, is sort of add a brace down there. So that should stop that front wheel going mental. So we'll, we'll try that again. Oh, look at this angle. <laughs> oh, yeah, she is picking up some speed now. Look at that. Look at that seat wobble. Ready? Yes. Eh. <laughs> oh, we're doing an endo. Oh, we're doing some troll biking now. Look at that. All right, so whilst that was fun, we're going to we're gonna delete all this, start again, and we're going to make a new improved bike. And I reckon it's going to be a motorbike, none of this bicycle malarkey. All right, so I've deleted everything except for the seat. <laughs> Let's build our motorbike. I think the first way of improving the old design was putting cogs around the chain. All right, so for the chain, because I'm going to I'm gonna like size the chain first and then sort of build the cog around that. I think that length, like one square grid should be good. And then I'll do maybe two square grids and then another to so that sort of shape. I think I'm going to go for like a two to one gear ratio. So I have whatever number at the back, I have double the number of cogs at the front. So then for every one rotation at the front, we get two at the back. So I'm hoping this will be a little bit quicker than the bike. As the default custom shape is a pentagon, do I try and just go for a pentagon? And then at the front do a ten sided, what's a ten sided shape called? Is it like a decagon or something? I don't know. Something like that. Because do decker is 12. Is it? Deck? I don't know. I'm going to get rinse in the comments for that. Ah oh, well. I'll tell you what, actually, maybe rather than a pentagon, I reset shape to four. Yeah, right, I think. So we'll rotate that 45 degrees. It might need to be bigger, actually. It might need to be bigger. I want to try and do this to the grid so it's easy. So that's three by three. All right, let's do a four. We'll do a four by four. And then we'll put an anchor in the middle. Yeah, it's all to the grid. It's all to the grid. All right, so I've used these dynamic anchors. They're like anchors that you can build to, but they can move. So as this square rotates, these nodes will also rotate. So I'm now going to use that to size this back spoke. Because I think when it's small, I'm not sure how small yet. Maybe if I go to like that point, and then there, and then there. Yeah, so that's two and a half grid squares big. Okay, cool. Now if I add some points, I think I'm pretty much just going to make this an octagon. So add that there, move that over to there. All right, that might be okay. These are only, I've noticed they're like the same length as the roads. So what I might do actually, I might actually make them one smaller but keep the gap as it was. Yeah, and I think as before, it'd be wise to sort of test this on something like that. Okay, you can see it's rotating freely, so that's perfect for testing. So I'm thinking now, a new custom shape, reset shape. So I want eight sides, because that will double the gearing, I think. Right, I'm going to add the dynamic anchor to the middle, just so it's easier to keep track of. So I'm going to start with these level, rather than doing anything complicated. And as this one is going to have the vehicle inside, I'm going to stick with the monster truck, because it did sort of work well last time. So now as with the bike, I'm going to try and make this hollow. So it should be pretty easy. I'm just going to, I'm going to do similar offsets, and then just add loads of middle points. And there we go. And then we'll, to make it curved, we'll add these middle points. And if we need to, we could add more. But I think that should be okay. I don't want to go too mad with it. So we'll move that down to about there. So we'll add some dynamic anchors to this. I think just one up there, one down there, one over there, and one over there. And then we'll make sure our middle point is in the middle. So they're all 2.25 long. You see that? 2.25. So that should give us good rotation. I'm going to do as before and add some anchors. And I'll hold this in place with hydraulics just so, you, just so it's a different color. And I'll set them to hold length. All right, so let's see. Will this spin? Yes, it does spin. Alright, so obviously I need to close this hole up a bit. I just realised how big that is. <laughs> Alright, so if we copy this and we rotate by 45 degrees each time. Oh, it's actually looking not too bad. Considering I didn't measure it, I probably should have measured it. Alright, I think that should go around pretty good. So if I were to just do a rough guideline. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to cut and I'm going to rotate till it lines up. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this cable. I'll do exactly the same thing. So just make sure the cable is lined up, the one in the background. Lovely. And then I can copy that. And I should just be able to work along here. Oh, and we're not far off at all. All right, so now I can move this back cog to the right place. So, all right, so now let's just see. <laughs> this probably isn't going to work. But if we were to copy these and rotate them around where they end up. And obviously I'd recommend using maths in here, but... uh. 
it's 200k special. I'm celebrating. I don't want to do maths on my day off. All right, so that sort of fits. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a little bit wonky. But we'll do a cable from there to there. And then we'll just copy these along, following the guide. Oh, and we're just, we're just a little bit off. So I might, this will probably cock it up, but sod it. I'll just do that. All right, so shall we have a test? Shall we see if this works? I probably need to build something to keep that in place. But I can't really do that till I built the frame, but let's see. Oh, it is actually, it does look like it's working. Although our engine is upside down. I think it's working. So let's just build a quick frame to hold our monster truck in place. A bit of road there and a bit of road there. Make them nice and flush. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's working. Oh my God, it's actually working really well. Oh wow, this is actually going to work. It's actually going to work. Right, okay. Let's lose these anchors. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. All right, so for this rear wheel, I'm going to turn the grid on. I'm going to select steel. I don't really know how big to do it. I need to make sure we're clear of that. But yeah, essentially what I'm thinking, maybe do that. We'll rotate. We want 90 degrees. All right, so I essentially want to take these two and I'll copy something divisible by 45, which isn't the easiest thing to do. All right, so I think 23 and we'll go the other way. 23 and then we'll just sort of eyeball two in the middle, I think. So I think they're my points for my wheel. At least the inner wheel. I'm going to add a tie around it. So I can delete these. And then I can just attach them to these nodes in the middle. Alright, so hopefully I can just take all of those. So if I copy that 90, that's that one done. And if I copy all of that, it's 180 degrees. And that should be our wheel. Nice. Then we'll delete all these extra things that got copied. So I think that's a wheel. Yes, it is a wheel. Nice. So then as I learned from my dragster episode, 150k special. Uh, I, I want to try and get a tire to work. Alright, so if I use a guide wire... And I think I want to go maybe to that node. So basically, I want to rotate that so it lines up. So I'm just going to do this the whole way around. Yeah, I think just doing this whole way around is probably the safest way of doing it, rather than trying to copy and paste. It might take a bit longer, but I can just, I can time lapse and hum. Right, I think we're done for the wheel. I think. I'm not entirely sure that'll work. I just put 100% compression on, which could be a mistake. But uh, I don't know, shall we see? Oh dear. That might have worked if it didn't drop so much, to be fair. Let's let's move the level up. Oh, it nearly works. It does nearly work. What I think, actually, if we add some sort of... Maybe if I just use cable. I think maybe if I add that. Yeah, I think that will stop it inverting. I might be wrong. I might have to do this with steel or wood. But I quite like that cable is a bit thinner and you can't see it. It just looks a bit better. All right, ready? Oh, perfect. Perfect too. Sick. All right, so now it's just a case of copy this for the front wheel. So where do we want the front wheel? Like there, maybe? I think we'll move one of these to there. I could just get rid of the cog, but uh, it seems to work. So why not? Uh, we need to get rid of these duplicated chains. I th we're gonna have to we're gonna have to redo them i could probably just copy them all from here actually copy yes that saves some time <laughs> nice all right sweet it's so a front wheel back wheel sorted let's connect it all together we've got to get our seat on i think our seat wants to go like down there maybe i'll tell you what would it be wrong to use some colors because now i have a mod where i can change the color of pieces a nine a c all right so if i hold p Yes, we can now make these grey, which is way better. Nice, we've got grey, we've got red rim around the outside. Copy that to the front, get rid of these for the third time. <laughs> Alright, so if we colour this in, this is quite a dark, like a dark leather seat. And yes, that's all it is, it's just a seat. I don't know what else you're seeing. <laughs> Alright, so now I'll just turn the grid off and make a Mosa bike, I guess. Alright, so we've got to attach the back wheel to the cog. Yes, they're connected together now. So I just got to get the front wheel in place. All right, so we got the basic structure. I think that's all, that's all good. So we'll see, does it move? Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. All right, what's going on? So these are fine-ish. What's the back? Oh, okay, so the back cog is slipping. Or it possibly just doesn't have the power. So going to here, we'll go to the physics for the monster truck. Let's up the horsepower to 50. Oh, okay, so now it is moving. Well, the monster truck is moving, but this is still slipping. 
So I think we can just design that out. So let's go into this edit shape. And what I'm thinking, if we do something that looks more like an actual cog. <laughs> All right, so we got that. We've got the radar going off because we're slightly clipped inside. But uh, I think that should be better. It should give it something to grip onto. So let's have a look. Is it? Oh, it's moving. It is moving. Oh, yes. It's actually moving. It's a bit lumpy bumpy. I think the springs are going a little bit mental. Can you see how the tires like hugging the ground, giving it more grip? The thing with my old one, there was no flex in the wheels. So this is adding more friction. It's making the surface area bigger. We got to the end of the level. Oh, wow. I thought we were going to have to change the shape of this front one as well to make it more cog-like. But that's fine. That's not sliding at all. Could do it just to make it a little bit better looking. All right, so I've cogged up the front one. And that just might help it work being a bit faster. Because I do want to ramp this up. I want to do a speed test at the end. But uh, that's banging. If we turn the stress off. Yes, we've got our grey wheels as well. All right, shall we add the rest of the detail then? We'll add the very important seat. All right, so now I've added some decoration. I'm a bit worried I've added too many nodes and it might not work. <laughs> but uh, let's have a look. Oh, bollocks. I have. It's not moving. It's not moving. Oh, man. Tell you what then, if we replace the seat and the fuel tank, because that's a lot of nodes with a custom shape. All right, so we'll add some anchors around just so we can connect it all up and change the color to a nice red. And then we'll do, do a seat as well. Just a classic bite seat there. Looks pretty comfy to me. <laughs> we'll make the color quite dark and then add some dynamic anchors so we can attach it. We'll reattach all this stuff. All right, and we might up the old horsepower. Let's try all the horses. All right, come on. Let's move. Let's move. Come on. Yes, back wheel moving. Yes, it's away. We did it. Yes. Oh, it's going. It is going. Oh, it's actually getting some speed. Right. Let's try upping the speed to fifth. No, let's just do, let's do all the speed. So it will just slowly build up speed. Because so it takes a little while to get going. Oh, but once it does, it is away. Look at it go. Oh, it's going off the edge. No way. I was going to add a chain tensioner, but I don't think it needs it at all. I'll tell you what it does need, though. It needs the level making longer. Can I? Oh, I can. I want to see what the max speed is. Right, that's as far as we can go. All right, now we've got a super long level. Let's see how much speed we can gain. I could up the acceleration as well, but I don't want to overdo it. I think slowly but surely adding speed is good. Look at that. We've actually done it. <laughs> I made it better. I made something better. Usually the more I tweak, the worse it gets. Is everything working fine? All the cogs are good. Back cogs are good. Sick. Right, it didn't get much faster. Let's try. Is it any quicker? Ready? Oh, it is. I think it might be. Not a lot quicker. I'll tell you what does make it quicker. Boosh, yes. <laughs> Whoa. My frame rate can't keep up. What the hell was in the air there? Did you see that? But yes, thank you for joining. That was the 200,000 subscriber special. And thank you so much if you've subscribed. Honestly, means everything. Makes me want to keep going, keep pushing, keep improving, and keep making more great content for you guys. So yeah, cheers guys. Don't forget to check out the new merch, Peace, Love and Bridges, and I'll see you next time. Cheers guys, bye.